is a Tony and Grammy-nominated singer and actress. You know her from Broadway and as Mindy on the massive hit show Emily in Paris on Netflix. Yes. Please welcome Ashley Park. Your fashion is everything. First of all, Your this, fashion. this outfit. Let's have a fashion moment. Listen, take a look at your back. Look at this. Yeah. How high is your heels? Yeah, those here, I mean, what's funny, especially doing fashion in Europe, you have to get really used to different terrains, right? So that's like the steps of Rome. So I, I got really good at like sidestepping down cobblestones yes. in Paris. There's a lot of like uh, bloopers from Emily in Paris of me just falling. I've gotten really good at falling in heels. What, like, what does that mean? Like, when you feel yourself about to fall, because I have very weak ankles, as I, I've never sprained or broken anything before this, because oh. um, I got really good at falling. But in that instance, I, I uh, sprained this at the Beyonce concert in Dubai. Oh I, I know, she's your... Yes. No, listen. Yeah, that was the night. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did you go down, like, right after this? or No, I happen? was actually sprinting in those, like, to the concert. And I was totally fine. This is so embarrassing. I wasn't even dancing, and I wasn't even, like, super partying. I was just, like, sobbing the whole time because I've never seen her perform live. That's and it was just, like, yes. so emotional and so... Oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's, <laughs> this is just happening. That's in my face. Oh my god. Um, but I was just walking to the bathroom afterwards, and I think I was just like in a stupor a little bit. And then my, I think my friend was holding my hand and let go. And it's a new hotel, so like the pathways, yeah, you can kind of fall off of it. And my ankle strap, my the strap was a little bit loose, so I fell. But I didn't realize I'd sprained my ankle because I was so embarrassed that I'd fell into bushes. You fell into the bushes? Yeah, I was more, I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine, it's okay. Because I had bushes all, look, the, the dress is so short. So I had all these scratches. I was like, I'm good. And then I got back to my seat and I was like, oh, that's real. It was like no. the size of my thigh. And I was like, I feel like that's not great. But so then I was, I was in a wheelchair and crutches for a bit. But It did not stop you because you went to <laughs> Paris Fashion Week with crutches. Yeah. yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Oh, don't fall oh, again. Okay. That's what, oh my gosh, you guys really have it all. Yeah, I was like, I got a little overly confident. I was like, oh, it's fine. And then the day after that, um, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. So then I was like, I really have to take care of myself. We have to take care of our bodies. Yes, we do. We only have one. But I had great friends um, and people helping me wheelchair myself around. And it's stuff. a wonder you didn't blink out the crutches like you did your brakes. I, well, that's what. After that, actually, a lot of people were like, oh, you should, you should do like mobility aids with like different. Right. So this is my stylist, Erin Walsh, and her assistant Annie East, and they um, bedazzled this for me, and so <laughs> I wore it to the Zag Awards, and I was like, well, it goes with the outfit today, and it does. I think it it's works. It, the the scary thing is like not that this is a session on physical therapy, <laughs> but like just rolling it again, and so I'm gonna. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Super fun, and you're a performer. So, what's some of your warm up exercises that you do? Oh gosh, I mean, well, also just since you've done a Broadway show mm -hmm. too, sometimes like you're running from stuff throughout the day and you don't have a lot of time to do your warm up. I have a lot of stuff that I would do if I was like really wanting to be warm, but sometimes I've been in such a rush. Like the one trick that I do, <laughs> you're gonna do it with me. Oh, um, I pant like a dog for ten seconds. Really? Because because I used to have like such stage fright when I was little. I did too. too. You really? Yes. Yeah. Like singing in church or anything like that. I'd be like, <laughs> why is the sound not coming out? And I would like shake and freeze up. And that's because the oxygen isn't getting to like your whole body and you're not taking deep breaths. Okay. So if you pant like a dog for ten seconds, uh -huh. ready? <laughs> And then afterwards, you're like so out of breath, and then you're, everything relaxes a little bit. I can't, there's no world in which I should be giving you a tip. On okay. That. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's good for nerves. <laughs> yeah, so that's like, that's just one trick that I do. Your new show, please. To everyone who you play. I play Naomi that we just saw in this. Um, the, the show is like the first of its kind. It's very, it's a dark comedy. Um, it's about two Asian Americans from very different backgrounds, played by um, Ali Wong and Steve Yoon. And, um, the premise is they get into this road rage incident in the beginning. It's this like wildly unpredictable, dark, moving revenge tale. And my character is a stay at home mom. And um, I'm just laughing right now because I think a lot of people have said Mindy and Emily in Paris is like the friend they all wish they had. And this is like a lady I don't want to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> she's very passive aggressive, very insecure. I was really excited to play her just because she's um, 
so different from other characters I've played. And so, yeah, I'm so excited for people to see it. I love how excited you are. It's amazing. And you almost play, <laughs> yes, give that a hand. You almost play someone else. Yes. <laughs> Tell us about that. This is gonna be my PSA that, <laughs> okay, so there's another character in this um, show played by Justin Min, who happens to be my second cousin. Um, he was cast, oh, there he is. <laughs> He's your cousin, and yeah, we're gonna play. So, the, the part they were first considering me for, um, the amazing showrunner, Sunny, he was considering me to play this character's um, wife, pregnant wife. And um, so we have the same agent, Kevin, and Kevin was like, ooh, wait, they're like very related. So he's like, very they should related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they were like, wait, really? And we're, my mom's name is Sarah Min, that's her maiden name, Min. And so we were like, no, we're, we're like very much blood related. Um, and we've been asked to play love interest a couple of times. So we need everyone to know that me and Justin are blood related. We should not be playing husband and wife or lovers. That is not great, but he's amazing in it. So yeah. That is so funny. I, so I ended up with a, with a part that I really <laughs> love that was very different from something I've played, but thanks to us being blood related. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about representation. It's extremely important to you and it's been just portrayed in a lot of your projects. <clears throat> Tell us more about that. Yeah, I mean, it's something I'd love to talk to you about too, knowing that a lot of the work that you've done, um, you know, this, this show, Beef um, with Netflix and also Joyride I have coming out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Lionsgate, um, Point Grey. Yeah, there it is, a rated R comedy and it's um, raunchy and heartfelt and it's, uh, the first of its kind in which I don't think any of us have ever gotten to play a fully fleshed out human and have humor and all of these things happen to us, but for the benefit of our own story. Yes. Um, and it was the first time I've really been surrounded by, you know, the director, the writers, the producers, uh, the head of hair, makeup costumes, everybody was an Asian person. And so wow. um, for me, I just had never, and this was like we filmed this a year and a half ago, been in a space where I was surrounded by people who had my, I mean, not exact same experience, but like I just didn't have to explain anything to right. you. And um, we were all on the same page and I, I really found my voice or my ability to like speak up. And I don't know if you felt this way too, like coming from a space that didn't feel that way for most of my life. Mm -hmm. um, finally, three decades later, when I'm given this opportunity to kind of take up space, I actually was like very conditioned not to. So mm -hmm. like I, I, yes. I didn't know how to step up. And so this, this, um, this project, especially Joyride and Beef, like really helped me feel confident and, oh, I, I do uh, care and know what I'm talking about and right. I don't have to navigate all these different ways to say it, you or know? become something else. And I love what you said, taking up space. That's yeah. extremely important. But that's why I find it very inspiring about you is like you were, you're a performer, singer, actress, and now you're a producer, you're a boss. And Thank like you. you get to take that, um, you know, I. We, we talked about our mutual friend, Jason Vesey, mm -hmm. who's in Only Murders on the Building yes. and um, was in um, the show that you Strange produced Loop. as well. Yeah, yes. Strange Loop. And um, he was just saying that just to have a producer like you who is always Aww. thinking about the actors and doing all sorts of things, like um, just to be helpful to an actor who's doing a show eight times a week um, was really meaningful to him. So you should know Aww, that. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. that's yeah. important. But it's humans too. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.